just got it from a nap a short while ago, and I figured to myself, what's the best way to tick off Frank Duncan? And then it hit me. Just make another late edition of Friday Night Pipes. So yes, hey YouTube, Pipe Lawyer here coming to you once again from my backyard on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. The sky's blue, trees are green, sun is bright, and the temperature is just absolutely perfect. I mean, just a slight, slight little chill. It's, it's, it's not even chill, it's coolness. I mean, it's, oh, it's wonderful. And it's warm enough to just wear a t-shirt, short pants, and yes, as I mentioned, it is yet another late edition of Friday Night Pipes. Frank Duncan, get over it. Anywho, so, and it's Mother's Day. Yes, and happy Mother's Day to all the lovely women out there, whether you're a pipe smoker or not. God bless you all. Today's your day, a very special day. And I thought to myself, you know, what pipe would befit Mother's Day? And I thought about this pipe, and I thought about that pipe for MVP, and what have you. And I, I came to the conclusion, it finally dawned on me, like the fading sun light here. Why not break out the mother of all pipes in my collection? Plus it's been a while since I featured this pipe anyway. So, that being said, this week's MVP on a special Mother's Day edition of Friday Night Pipes is none other than... Dun dun dun! The Pipe Friend CHS Bari Viking Pipe Conference Pipe. Yes, this is the pipe that Mark gifted me at the conclusion of the first Southeastern YouTube Pipe Presenters Conference back in, I think, 2010. Uh, this came about because he was smoking this pipe in one of his, his videos just before the conference in 010. And, uh, I PM'd him, told him that yeah, I really like that pipe. And he mentioned, you know, well, why don't we consider a trade? You know, you bring some of your pipes, and I'll bring this one, and we'll meet at the conference, and we'll see if we can do a trade. So, long story short, at the conclusion of the conference, I showed him the pipes that I had brought, including a rather sizable Boswell. And he liked them, but they weren't quite to his liking sounds contradictory. I mean, he liked them, but they weren't quite to his style. So, rather than do a trade, he said, look, just keep it. It's yours. And I was blown away. I mean, uh, such a, a, a wonderful showing of uh, generosity. And I proudly accepted it and uh, had it refurbished. It's a beautiful pipe. It's smooth all around. This giant acorn shape or tulip shape. I think, I think they call it a tulip. But it's a beautiful shade of mahogany or walnut brown. Some very gentle plateauing there on the rim and also matching on the end of the shank, and which leads into a beautiful caramel amber colored, almost freehand style stem. And uh, hangs beautifully. smokes beautifully, and in keeping with the tradition of Pipe Friends CHS is having a smoking English blends in his pipes, I'm smoking Edward's Special Balkan in this pipe today. Very good. Sweet. Hangs great. Looks great. Smokes great. And speaking of pipe conferences, B at the 4th Annual YouTube Southeastern Pipe Presenters Conference, Saturday, June 1st, at Tobacco World in Marietta, Georgia. 
I think this is going to be the biggest turnout we've had so far. I have people coming in from more states this year than in previous conferences. We have people coming in from Georgia, uh, Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, possibly San Diego, California, Illinois, Kentucky, um, Puerto Rico. So yeah. Texas, can't forget Texas. Amber and Mark, can't wait to see you. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's looking. We're gonna be a very good time. Just about three weeks away. Today is the twelfth. Yeah. Just under three weeks away, so make ready, be there. And that about does it for this week's edition of Friday Night Pipes. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. And until next time, this is Pipe Lawyer saying cheers. As always, remember, I'll present the evidence, but you be the judge. Take care, good night, and God bless.